Donna is on the line in Charlotte, North Carolina. Donna, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. How are you? I'm, I'm doing well. I hope you are. Yes, ma'am. How can I help? I'm calling today because I am uh, about to retire after uh, 30 years of working with local government. Mm -hmm. And I intend to start my own small consulting business with local government. And I'm just looking for someone to tell me that I'm not crazy. Okay. Well, why do you think that you're crazy? Because you called me to see if I think you're crazy. I want to know what you think might be so crazy about this idea. I don't see anyone else doing the type of consulting that I, I that I am doing that I propose to do. Oh, well, on the surface, Donna, that makes me excited, not concerned. <laughs> because if you can be first to market in anything, even if other people think you're crazy, it's not actually crazy. So let's let's talk about what that is. What is the type of consultant you want to do that nobody else is doing? Well, for um, for thirty years, I've worked uh, for water and sewer utilities in local government. Mm -hmm. And uh, the small towns that exist in North Carolina, a lot of them have water and sewer systems. They have town managers running everything, and they don't have a utility director. They don't have anyone to help them uh, optimize, make the best use of those the, the, those resources, those, uh, those enterprise funds. And my goal is to go in and help them meet state compliance, help them become more financially uh, stable and uh, – make decisions based on my experience as opposed to uh, somebody who's a, not a qualified uh, utility director. Okay. I, I got to tell you, I don't, I don't hear crazy yet. Let's, let's role play this. So who, uh, who is the person that you would talk to? If you had zero problem getting the meeting, who's the person you'd set the meeting up with in small town? Let's just say, um, uh, give me a small town near you, the one of your first targets, what would it be? Okay. It's the, the town I live in actually called Norwood. Okay, great. Norwood. All right. Mm -hmm. Who's the person you want the meeting with? Who is it? The town manager. Town manager. Okay. I'm the town manager. And I say, Donna, uh, good to meet with you. Uh, I've heard good things about you. Uh, I have a general idea what we're meeting about. And I know you've been uh, doing this for 30 years. Uh, talk to me about what we're meeting about today. Okay. Well, my goal is to be able to help uh, towns like Norwood, uh, when they have issues with meeting regulatory compliance uh, with the state as far as operating their, their wastewater facility, their water treatment facility, their collection system, their distribution system, uh, when they're dealing with engineers and construction projects and they need someone to help them make good decisions on behalf of, of the town and not just on, um, you know, what, what best suits the engineering firm or the consulting firm, what, what makes them the most money, what makes them, or even just ask the right questions. Uh, because a town manager uh, is dealing with everything from parks to police to um, uh, finances to um, the town council. They're responsible for everything, so they don't have a lot of time to focus on just water and sewer utility. And they don't know a lot of the rules and regulations. Okay, right uh, there. So right there. So we were role playing, and I was asking you why why you're meeting with me. And so here's what. Let me give you a three part construct of what you're going to do when when you go meet with that guy who I was playing. Because what you gave me a roundabout answer, and I appreciate that. But you want to be able to tell him what his problem is, and and how you're going to solve it, and then why that solution is good for him and the town. Pretty simple construct. Do you get that? Yes. So you're going to lead with the problem. The problem, as I understand it, Donna, and you can you can make this sound better, but I'm walking you through your presentation, and this becomes your entire model. This is why you're doing what you're doing, and it's really simple. And the simpler, Donna, the better. Town manager's okay. looking at you, and you go, hey, let's say his name is Frank. Hey, Frank, here's the deal. As town manager... You, you're like a one-armed wallpaper hanger. You just don't have time to do it. It's just crazy. And one of the things that you have to deal with, one of the 8 million things you have to deal with that's way down on your priority list is water and sewer. And that's a problem. You don't have enough time to do everything. That's his problem or her problem. They don't have enough time to focus on it. And he goes, okay, you're right. That's one of my problems. But you got to keep going. All right? And then you have to say, well, the solution is you need somebody like me who can come in and take all that off your plate. 
and you start listing out all the things that he should be doing that or she should be doing that they're probably not doing, right? Rules and okay. regulations, budgets, you know, saving, blah, 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 blah. And you list it out. And I can come in and do that for you. I report directly to you, but I take all of it off your plate. Now he's really leaning in, isn't he, Donna? Yes. And then you give the reason for the solution. And the reason for the solution is, A, saves him time, allows him to do better at his job. That That's one you just kind of outlined, but that's, that, that's a real reason for the solution. Makes him better at what he does. But more importantly, saves the town money, which frees up money in the budget for him to use in other areas to make town's people happy. And you know the other things. I don't know it as well as you do, but you can give the reason for the solution pretty pretty clear, can't you? Yes. Okay. So when you lay that out to the town manager and and then remind them that he or she gets the credit, you just want to get the paycheck, right? That's right. You pay me. You get to be the hero. I don't need the credit. I just want to get paid. Show me the money, right, Donna? That's it. I don't think you're crazy at all. I think this is a great deal. And here's the best part, Donna. You're retiring anyway, so there's no pressure on you. You don't need this to live. You're not going to starve. You got a chance to really put this plan together, super simple presentation, and go take it to town managers in a 90 mile radius of you. Okay. 60 mile radius. Make your life easy. But 90 minutes, that's a nice little drive. That's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. How many clients would you love to have? Um, I could have 20 and do well. Yeah. So it starts with one. And you know, these town managers, they talk to each other. You know, you're in a, you're in a little, you're in a little uh, local government, you know, internet network. You know what I'm talking about? That's what you really are in. And so yeah. you leverage your relationships to get these meetings and you go in there and go, I can save you and the town. I can save you X amount of time and I can save the town X amount of dollars. Put it in front of them. But always with that simple solution. What's the problem okay. that you're solving for them, Donna? Okay. What's the solution to that problem? And what's the reason for the solution? All right. That's a stone cold case, and you're going to get paid, and I like that. Donna's on it, folks. Donna's not crazy. Donna, you're not crazy. That's actually a really nice idea. Now, see, there's an example of Donna looking around, folks, and going, I don't see anybody else doing this, but is that crazy? No. Some of the greatest ideas in the world or something crazy that no one was doing. Have you seen the pictures on the internet of Jeff Bezos? I think it's in 1993. You all can Google this when you when you please. Picture of Jeff Bezos in the early days of Amazon. I saw it in an article, and and he's in this like rat hole office. And think about it. How crazy was Amazon.com of an idea when it got started? How many of you out there think everybody's like, oh, that's brilliant. People aren't going to buy stuff online that they can buy at Walmart. Uh, mm, let's see now. Was Jeff Bezos crazy? Yes and no.